This is a reading for Aries for the month of October and the full moon, new moon on September 30th, the new moon on September 30th in the month of October, Mars in Capricorn. Spirit, we ask you, Ruler Mars, we ask you what messages there are for Aries at this time. October 2016. New Moon, September 30th, the month of October 2016, messages for Aries. Currently, the hidden meaning of this reading is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. And this means calumny. It is soldiers on the battlefield. This is an additional card which is not usually drawn for the Celtic Cross spread. I draw it to symbolize subliminal messages, hidden meanings. So, this means that there will be a great, complete conquest, complete destruction of others, a complete Slain of an enemy who is dissing you, who is attempting to slur a, a conquest which will live in infamy from now on. You will not just have a victory, you will have a incredible triumph where you see your enemies flattened, completely removed, completely having to eat their words is the phrase. you will not only gain, you will, through this triumph, gain a name, gain reputation, gain standing, gain prestige. This is the start of great reputation for you, Aries, a great reputation stands to be gained from a current tribulation 
which is occurring in your life, a current conflict, you will be validated, you will be vindicated from any accusations that have occurred and in fact that will be placed on the other party through your efforts use your intellect swords are the element of error use your higher mind faculties to see your way through this conflict and you will end up in a far better position and your enemies everyone will know everyone will know that they tried to trip you up they tried to smear your name or they tried to accuse you unfairly and everyone knows that that is not the case you will have your day you will have your time in the sun and they will have to apologize to you the questioner you are currently the knight of coins The Knight of Coins is a knight who is gathering resources, who is a man on the move, on the make. He is traveling for financial resources and profit. He has great designs. He is a patient man. He is persistent. He has the ability to conclude what he designs and takes care of things in a laborious way in an organized way you have been working very hard you have been responsible you have been mature you have been reliable these things these things are speaking of someone who has great credentials who who has been un barely passed over in the past who is now going to start their own business or start trying to for a promotion or start to move forward move ahead through sheer effort through sheer will uh, they will overcome in a triumphant way this is not about money this is more about persistence. It's about someone who takes pride in their work, in their craft, has crafted a model of business, a, a taken pride in their service that they offer, and this is uh, traveling forwards, traveling forwards towards with momentum towards something larger than the coins, a, a feeling of worthiness, of self-worth, like as someone who comes through for others. Ah, this is the immediate current. These are your possessions, your feelings, your immediate influence, uh, other security giving, the weight, your weight gain, your purchases recently, belonging to belong. So 
right now you have current circumstances where you feel alone and bereft. This is a young couple who is living in, in a very stark circumstance. And although they are together, they are not facing one another. They are alone together. So they, they seek, they seek n n not so much the material riches which they obviously need given their life circumstances, but they also seek a way of breaking down their walls with each other, of their breaking down their emotional walls with each other, reaching out to one another during harsh times, being able to truly get through those harsh times by loving one another as much as they potentially could. So this is loneliness as well as very stark living circumstances. But this is the type of starkness which, unlike the Four of Coins, this is the type of starkness that is transiting, that is temporary, that is of young people setting out on their own. That is why they are impoverished. It's not someone who has been to skin flint and then things didn't work out and they became more and more miserly and became alone. These are two people who are beset with worry over money and so therefore they are at a point of a, a level of life progress where they do not realize that there are other things besides the pressing money problems which are upon them. There are other things which are more important if they would just look at each other in the eyes. They could figure it out together. The Five of Coins is destitution loss, failure, error, potentially a mistress or a lover. However, that doesn't mean a person who's a mistress or a lover uh, or a mister. Um, this, this is more like someone prefers to stay up and watch television instead of go to bed with their partner. Um, on a consistent basis or you know this person's so worried that they get caught up in eating binge eating all the time and they can't they they can't spend any time with their partner or they no longer go to anywhere socially because they don't they can't face other people um, this is like your problems with money have become so bad or your circumstances look so grim that you bury yourself in something else when actually if you put your heads together you could figure a way out or if you put one your partnership aside for a minute or your relationship problems aside for just a minute then you could figure out the rest of the problems first but because there's so much emotional stuff going on, you can't figure your way out of the wet paper bag that financial circumstances has put you into. So, now, um, other things, other things. What is on your mind? The Five of Cups, as one would imagine, if you've got the five of coins. Now five is an interesting number. Five is always symbolized by the hands almost universally and the connection point is the palm, the the fist of five. So, so five symbolizes a bringing together a totality and then progressing towards a culmination from there. So five is, while six is having choices, five is a level of attainment. You've already started your journey. 
you've you've made your choice then you've reached you've gone through your culmination that's three and then through four you've reached a sta stability in that and then five is when it all comes together and things have a coherency a cooperation there is a underlying theme of things so speaking of which underlying themes here we are so five of cups which is in the third place now this is the place of brothers, sisters, transportation, environment, uh, early education, communication, journalism, your uncles, aunts, cousins, so distant family, uh, near travel, cars, your mental attitude at this time, which is in your headspace or crown chakra, city versus country living, motivation of cha for change and young people so what is your your motivation of change at this point is because you've recently experienced a partial loss here's the card you've recently experienced a partial loss a regret Friendship without real meaning, marriage without real love, uh, inheritance, incomplete union or partnership. Now, out of all of those things, the the inheritance doesn't seem to fit in there, and that's because inheritance is usually born out of somebody passing away um, over to the other side. So. That's not necessarily a happy event either. Uh, at, um, it is it is a, a a difficult one for both parties to learn to transition and navigate there. So over to that other side. In terms of the friendship without real meaning, I interpret that to mean that you feel as though you have no friends at this time. Uh, you feel as though your friends that you have had are not doing as much for you during this time as you need them to do. Uh, your mar in terms of the prediction of marriage without real love, I would not read too much into that necessarily perhaps that is a fear you may have because this this is the crown this is the head so that means that these are concerns worries preoccupations right now they are not in your physical reality so you are most concerned at the moment about siblings aunts uncles cousins you are worrying yourself over that you are worrying yourself possibly because you uh there there is some concern around money and fairness and borrowing and inheriting and where things have gone and this is a person who is staring at their their cup they still have saved a cup they have a lot of overturned cups but at this point they don't look like there's very much that can really please them in life um, so it is a matter of changing perspective creating a complete union or partnership discovering what truly matters in tough times being there to support one another and rising to that level of mutual unconditional affection love family love during such difficult surroundings or times that you are going through 
this is the time to reach out to others because you may think that things are very grim there but in actuality it is not confirmed these are assumptions on your part so in your distant past the seven of clubs there is the seven of clubs and this is a man of action he has a bird above him and he's got plenty of clubs going on there clubs are all about the earth they are the wands pardon me the fire sorry so they are all about fire and action so success gain overwhelming odds surmounted advantage and victory in your past you felt on top of things you felt that you had no possibility of a setback um, and you felt that that was responsible for your winning streak that you really everything always turned out well but this is part of the maturation lifetime process is understanding that every just treading water is sometimes a victory if it is storming and hailing and uh, there are monster waves coming upon you and and whales and all of these things out in the ocean happening to your little ship if you can just keep that ship afloat through that storm you are the victor. That is good enough. That is worthy of victory right there in and of itself. So um, then we have down here your recent past. Ah, the emperor. Emperor. Okay. Emperor. A card of all things masculine, of masculine triumph in this life of authority figures. This is also in the area of father, of children, of risks taken. Uh, you have been, in the past, very quick to seize your opportunities. Uh, you've had worldly power. You've been a leader, as Aries is want to do. You, you've charged in there. You've had authority. You had the wealth to back it up. You felt indomitable. You have the war-making tendencies of Mars. There is a father, a brother, or a husband around you who is assisting you, or you are that male who is taking up arms at this time. In actuality, in your recent past, you've taken a much more authoritative stance towards your life, Aries. You've picked up the pace and really tried to start something new. You've used your intelligence and your reason over emotions and passions. 
and you've pleased a patriarchal figure around you at this time, or you yourself are becoming more accustomed to being that nurturing patriarchal figure who protects, shows their nurturing through providing, husbanding, shepherding, and assisting others, being that leader force. So this is this is very positive. Um, what I'm seeing is that you took an potentially you took authority with regard to a certain situation. You took up leadership stance in that situation, and it has cost you monetarily. However, you have gained. You have gained a sense of self and leadership through that in the Knight of Coins. You are still on the war path, and the final, final judgment has not rung on that yet. Uh, you're still fighting, but you are conflicted, conflicted because in your immediate current, you have a lot of need monetarily, or someone in your immediate environment is very distant, uh, emotionally bereft. Now, in your, and in your headspace, you worry constantly. However, in your actual world, I see nothing but activity during this time, positive activity. Now, in the sixth spot, which is health, diet, exercise, hobbies, routine work, these, these things provide the next step of your future. If you think about it, you have to eat well, you have to go to work, you have to do all of those, you have to take care of your health and hygiene in order to progress, in order to go out and be that leader now. So, this is all about the magician, and this is a self-created man. This is the beginning tarot. He has the infinity symbol above himself, his head, which is the winged limnus gate. And he's got every artifact from each suit in, on the table in front of him. He is a very self-created alchemist there. This is all about having originality, creativity, imagination, spontaneity, self-confidence, having some ingenuity. So see if you can invent something that makes your life easier, Aries. See if you can innovate, innovate your processes. And I think that you will be demonstrating some of those leadership abilities by doing that. Because this speaks of invention. Flexibility, masterfulness, self-control, deception, and sleight of hand. So, at this time, at this time, there, there is, you know, the authority figure put his foot down about things. You have had to suffer a little bit because of that somehow. Maybe it passed over for promotion or some sort of minor setback uh, things suddenly you need some money. You need to travel to get that money. You're worried about doing so. Things were going so well in the past for you and then all this change happened. However, do not fear. You have the creativity, the ability, the skills to pull it off, to make this thing happen even if authority figures right now seem to be your worst enemy. This magician 
knows that he can alter his own reality. He can change things for the better in his world, in his life. So, and then we move on to the seventh. Seventh is all about partnerships. It's all about your feeling for others, their feeling for you. It is others' influence on current events, rapport, commitment, levels, the harmony, balance, fairness. It is the house of Libra, Venus, favorite things. The aura is also influenced by this, and anything having to do with raising your vibrations. So people can set you back, or they can be a positive influence in your life. And this is what that's about. So, Page of Swords. Page of Swords. And Page of Swords is a helpful, bright, young person specifically a brainy young person, someone who's clever, who is good at, at perhaps catching things, catching small details, or spying in a way. This is all about having vigilance, a discreet person, an active uh, young person. Someone who is very adept at perceiving, discerning, and uncovering the unknown or that which is less than obvious uh, insight. So this could potentially be somebody you personally know who is a younger messenger of some kind, or it could be coming through media, something that you read or enjoy created by a young person that really opens up your eyes, that, that really actually exposes some sort of truth to you, and that this changes you in a fundamental way, so that you actually want to start changing others. So this is a sword of knowledge. This is like an energetic, youthful sword of knowledge, and the pen is mightier than the sword. So if you have the ability to write in order to make matters better, perhaps send an official letter or email to someone, to this authority figure, that may make all the difference. Alternately, a young person will bring you some interesting, interesting information. It may not be a young person per se, perhaps a company or school which is associated with a young person, young people. And this letter will be um, useful to you. This will save you. This will uh, be a useful piece of ammunition in your battle of the Five of Swords. So, right above you in that, in your environment, we have the Ten of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry, Aries. And that is a, a man who has been stabbed by so many swords that I don't think very many would fit anymore. And the Ten of Swords, Tens always mean a culmination of events. So the completion of one thing is the start of another. That is positive to keep in mind in times of great change and transformation and growth. Is that something has to end in order for a new wonderful time to start. And the Ten of Swords particularly in terms of in, in this spot, which is all about environmental insights, 
endowments, self-analysis, therapy, transformation, afterlife, sudden events, uh, insurance, deep-rooted urges, it's the spot of Scorpio, Mars, and Pluto. It is the pranic body resurrected. So, in order for there to be a resurrection, of course, there has to be a pranic death. And this Ten of Swords speaks of that, that in your environment, you are feeling particularly devastated. Uh, your, your thoughts are like plunging daggers into your soul right now in a subconscious way. Uh, they are poking and prodding you. This is about feeling a ruin, pain, affliction, anguish, desolation, misfortune, disappointment. This is yet again this five of coins coming back in your environment right here. So it is a great deal of devastation. Now those words for devastation and pain sound like they would be uh, very suitable for something more minor in life. A, a still a devastating blow, but something a little not not too terrible. This is this is just this is about your feelings and your very internal and this is about a transformation from this plane of existence through thought to the next plane of existence to transformation through learning books things intellectual pursuits this will help you pick up the pieces of your environment right now. In the nine spot, the falling tower. This is your internal perceptions. Eleven is the card. The falling tower. And the falling tower is about the breakdown, the complete and total devastation a fire has prior to it being built again. It has to, in order for even the most beautiful new structure to be built, the other one had to, dip, had to be burned down first in order for things to progress and move on. It, it speaks of a complete and sudden change, and this is in your inner world, your inner emotions, you have changed. It is a breakdown of old beliefs, an abandonment of past relationships, severing of a friendship, the changing of one's opinion, and unexpected events. Mmm. Bankruptcy, downfall, loss of stability, and loss of security. This is all of the side effects of transformation and ascension. Absolutely. This speaks to you used to enjoy your boss or the people you worked for or with in the past. However, now that you've been growing and looking into things and reading more and thinking about it, you think maybe someone has been getting more than their fair share of the money brought in from your work. Especially considering that your environment, you feel you have some family pressures you need to deal with and it would help your relationships a great deal if 
other people would understand your position. However, they aren't going to because it seems to be a part of your next <clears throat> stage of growth. Personal spiritual growth. Now, we have in the culmination of all cards, the page of coins. Page of coins. That is marvelous. You will have news of money very, very soon. Your money problems will not be a factor much anymore. It is about having deep concentration and application. You should study things. There is scholarship. There is also the need for reflection and time to think things over. Being patient. However, you have the desire for new ideas. You want to do positive things. Well, there is a bearer of news which will allow you to do the positive things that you crave. And this is a, all, about, all about your aspirations, your ambitions, your final culmination, your worldly progress, your authority, social status, career. And it is part of the radiant body. in the chakra system, in the chakra numerology system for kundalini yoga developed by Yogi Bhajan. So, this speaks to me of your monetary concerns will not be too much of a concern. If you do not have a job, you will be getting one in the very near future, and it will be a very favorable one. And also, this this speaks of the young money, of the potential to make more money, of the door opening and allowing you to walk through it based on your own merits. Uh, some study may be required in order to come through with what you need at this time. Study is the is is one of the ways, is is the the main way you can make things alternate and change for you at this time, Aries. So good luck with your studying and it will improve your emotional life when you study is what it's saying that that is the key to bringing on a whole new level of potential what messages does fairy have for aries for the month of october please the month of october messages for aries the lady of joy the Lady of Joy. She's so beautiful, isn't she? She's just a beautiful, beautiful lady. She's happily, happily flitting around the, the plants there. Clarifier card from Fairy is joy in the moment, sharing a true gift. To choose the Lady of Joy is to receive a true gift for yourself. She is such an important being. To know her touch is to know pure joy. She comes to remind you that joy can be found everywhere at any moment. It has no size limits, no sell-by dates, no co 
conditions attached. It, it just is. So accept this gift. Find joy in the moment and pass it on. Joy multiplies when you pass it on to others. It is infinitely large. So if you give some away, you will always have more than enough for yourself. A good thing to remember in a world that can seem joyous, must, joyless much of the time. Fairy is such a joyous place. By finding joy in the everyday, you help make the veil between the wor worlds thinner and the probability of fairy contact much more likely. So, do your duty for the cause of inner world communications and be joyful. So don't be down. This lady of joy is here to tell you that the page of coins will be along any minute to solve these monetary issues. And so in the meantime, have some joy with that person who's in your environment, who, who you care about, who you love. Don't let this worry about the coins or the new business or the promotion get you down because the battle is still going on and uh, when it, the battle is through, you will be victorious and you will be able to have new intellectual pursuits, learn new things. You will be able to reinvent yourself as a younger, energetic person, someone who is in tune with pranic energies. So I hope that that, that reading has helped you, Aries. I sincerely do. It's been a pleasure to read for you, and I hope to do so very, very soon again. Till then, namaste, satnam, and blessings, and I will see you very soon. My name is Dadamkar, and you can reach me at dadamkar23 at gmails.com. Signing off now. We'll see you soon. Take care.